right now we have a lot going on at New Tech Inventors and a lot of it has to do with actual 3D printing different parts. We've actually taken on some work recently. I hadn't really intended on taking on additional work other than printing the projects that we've been printing. But recently I have taken on a project to print some specialty parts for another company and that has taken a little bit of time and at the same time we're expanding and I'll be doing a video showing that but we're expanding our operation down the new 3D print farm. 3D print farm we have two rooms we have a printer room then we have another room where we stored filament and had a little work area and we had also planned on having a little shipping area there but we've started doing assembly in that area and it is just a total mess there's just not enough room to do anything in that area okay i've got the helping hand set up got my exhaust here for my soldering got a clamp holding this one piece another holding the wire now what i'll do instead of twisting these I'll keep these straight and then I will actually push the strands together like so and take my soldering iron, dip it in a little bit of rosin. Okay. Soldering connection. Second one. I don't know if it's obvious, but my eyesight does affect how well I can do this. And I, without depth perception, I do it more by feel. Are made now. So what we've done now, we took another room down there and we're cleaning it out and it is going to be dedicated to assembly and we'll be doing the assembly in there. So I've ordered another air conditioning unit for that room that should be coming in here in the next couple days and along with my student intern and myself, we'll be getting that room ready to be the new production uh, assembly area. Well, let's see if this looks familiar. As you can see, it's another junk room with everything from chainsaws to Pumps, generators, heaters, extension cords, hoses, duct work, various power tools, 
cases, joist hangers, tile cutter, just a lot of a lot of stuff here that was used in the construction business, but we're not in the construction business. So what we need to do is clean all of this out like we did the other room and we're going to make this our assembly area. I ordered another one of the mini split air conditioning units and we're going to be putting it in the wall right there so we can cool this area. There's a couple generators there. All this stuff needs to be moved out. We'll keep some of the shelving because we need to store parts and stuff. But this is primarily going to be for assembling, helping hand parts, lap diner, and other products that we're making. We just need a dedicated assembly area. And it looks like this is going to be it. So, a lot of work to do here. And we're going to be getting started on it today. Hopefully. <laughs> We're expanding down at the print farm. We finally decided, I keep saying we like I've got a mouse in my pocket. I finally decided that I need more room for assembly. I do have one student intern that works with me on a regular basis. And I have him doing a lot of the soldering and so forth in the uh, process of manufacturing products and getting them ready for the market so it's just become too crowded and it's a lot of confusion things are not organized well so we're preparing another room down there so that we'll have room to do the assembly of parts put them together do the soldering and so forth and packing them up where they can be shipped out so I think that'll help a lot and it will also give us more room because I am anticipating getting some additional help. Okay, now we've got our area cleaned out where the air conditioning unit's going to go on the wall there. We just have to frame up some studs and we've got our unit right here. Well, look at our mounting bracket and figure out just what kind of framing we need there. Eventually we're going to stud this whole wall and insulate it. We'll get the insulation in there and the studs then we'll be able to put some kind of paneling or something over that. You can see there's a wall outlet here already but we're going to have to put some more outlets in and especially a dedicated one for the air conditioning unit. And we'll put some permanent lighting in, but we'll have to go ahead and put a ceiling in this room first. And that's the back wall of the print room. So we'll have to seal that up a little bit. We really don't need to insulate it, I don't think. In the wintertime, it'll be good to let some of that heat transfer through that wall and help keep this room warm but we'll have an additional heater in here anyway. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors. <laughs>